Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where we are here on the Roaring Mountain with Lark and his trial mate 1214F and uh, last time we managed to get the Ding Dong Ditch achievement which I still that that shouldn't have worked as well as it did. I thought for sure this is going to be our first uh, uh, legitimate death to not a glitch, even if it's not one that would be permanently upheld. But no, um, we've managed to survive this, and uh, I think the experience brought the two, these two much closer together. However, we still haven't quite finished our trial. Uh, I think we want to do that. We might also want to do a hunt, but uh, before we do that, I want to do a little bit more uh, achievement hunting, and I want to take a look at our progress and show you guys, because I think there's been a little bit of confusion over what achievements we do or don't have so let's go ahead and we'll take a look at that okay so if we look at the achievement here you can see the ones we have are lucky dog wolverine wallop white meat calling the wild and ding dong ditch now there are a few others here that i think we can do i think i'd like to try to get canyon cruise uh and i think we'll see i don't actually know where the hunters lean to is we might be able to do that depending on where we settle or some of the some of the other ones kind of depend on where we settle like perfectly balanced or across the wild yellow or the wide yellowstone like you know there's there's a few things that might depend i'm sure we'll accumulate all of these eventually it's mostly the hunting related ones that i wasn't sure if we were going to get and so i really wanted to prioritize but we'll see if we can get a few more of these and then if we look at i think it's explore there's a few collectibles here as well in the scavenger hunt and the landmarks. We haven't seen the lean to yet. That's an achievement. We haven't seen the summit yet. That's an achievement. We haven't found the park boundary sign and we haven't found geode falls, but we did find suspension bridge and bear box. And then there's also a hunting cap, canteen, glow stick, traffic cone, and leg hold trap. Uh, we found the collar, snowshoe, and coyote decoy. So that'll be... Um, something that we may or may not get. Oh, I guess we haven't found the tent in Slough Creek. I I didn't even realize there was a tent in Slough Creek. <laughs> Man, there's a lot in Lost River that we haven't found because there's so much to find. Oh, geez, the one collectible we haven't gotten. Uh, we did get all the antler scavenger hunt ones. I think I ended up finding the bear skull off camera, but we did find another one at this last time. Uh, for the most part, we've gotten most of these on camera. But yeah, that's where we stand with the achievements. So Canyon Cruise is uh, going from the confluence to down the Yellowstone River between the cliffs, where I think we we're poking around earlier uh, so I think we'll maybe bring 1214F down there and see if we can um, do uh, some swimming see if we can enjoy ourselves a nice swim before the weather turns too cold uh, as we wrap up our trial here because I think probably one more hunt will be enough all right so speaking of hunting I think we Oh, the coyotes must have found our, our, their carcass. Uh, speaking of hunting, there is a herd here that I think we'll be able to try and go after if we can get them on the run. I don't really want to fight them when they're standing still, but they should take off soon enough. Come on. There, there's two wolves here. You guys should be pretty scared of us. They're doing the smart thing in standing their ground rather than stampeding. Oh, 1214F has already gone after some of them. Be careful in there. She seems like quite a bold wolf as well. No wonder she was so eager to uh, to try to go for the, that achievement with us. Whoa, that was a near miss. I, I'm stuck on a rock. All right, it looks like she has uh, spotted this particular elk calf and is going for the kill, though. So let's see if we can get there. Oh. That wasn't the mother, apparently. Oh, there she is. It's like, where did she go? Uh, apparently right here. All right, can we get a good bite? Oh, yeah. Wow, we are just, like, absolutely destroying here. These two are very efficient hunters, I've noticed. They they work together very, very well. Oh, we're going to get kicked, but it does not matter. Look at this. Look how fast they brought down that elk calf. They have a very chaotic, but a very efficient style of hunting, and it seems like she is impressed with our strength and hunting skills. So I think we're going to go ahead and say yes. These two have already been through quite a lot together. I think it's fitting that uh, they continue on and spend the rest of their lives together, too. And as for a name, some of you guys suggested the name Ren, which I feel is fitting, keeping in keeping with the, uh, the bird-themed names here. Um, let's hang out a little bit. I'll try to get... I don't think it really matters when you do the, um, 
the canyon cruise achievement, but I don't think, I don't know if the river freezes over in winter or not. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but I think it makes more sense to let these two do that before it gets too, too cold. So let's actually head down and see if we can find the confluence. And then maybe we'll trot back up into the back country when we start marking our territory here. I think this is the confluence right up there because you can see the Yellowstone from a little ways away. Yeah, this is what leads into it. Uh, it looks like Ren has actually grabbed a snack for the road too. Uh, and it is going to be a pretty snowy, chilly swim by the look of it. Let, we'll, let her, we'll let her eat her hair if she so desires to. Um, it's still going to be a pretty chilly swim, just doesn't make as much sense to do it in the dead of winter. Did you finish that up? You just really weren't even that hungry, and neither were we. <laughs> All right, I guess she just wanted to hunt. The prey drive kicked in. The bears will probably eat that, but we have other matters to attend to here. Uh, so let's see, from the confluence down between the cliffs, I think that just means that we have to swim quite a lot of the river here, which is gonna, it's kind of fun. There's not a whole lot of swimming related achievements, and uh, I think it's kind of neat that they've added some, because swimming is something that I will often go out of my way not to do. Uh, I'm not usually too keen on that, <laughs> but I think it's, um, I think it's interesting to have, a. Uh, uh, to, ha to have some achievements that encourage that, because oftentimes I think I get kind of just annoyed with the swimming. Not that it's a bad feature, but like, you know, most of the time when you do swimming, it's in flooded Slaw Creek. Y'all know how I feel about that and how um, irritating it is when the water is always in your way. So I like that this gives us the chance to have a little bit more of a scenic swim. And what a swim it is. We saw these cliffs earlier, but like, my goodness, it is... Um, it, 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 is, it is quite a, quite a spectacle to see. I, again, like, I know I mentioned this before, but I really like the terrain here on Roaring Mountain. I think it's really interesting. Uh, I think it's very different than the terrain in the other Yellowstone maps. I think they picked a very good place for this. It feels like all of the maps have very distinct terrain because Slaw Creek is, I guess it's not flat flat, but it's fairly flat and low lying. Amethyst Mountain is a mountain. Roaring Mountain is a very cliffy mountain. And uh, Lost River is also pretty cliffy, but it's different kinds of cliffs. It, it's got a lot of steep terrain uh, and mountainy areas, but it's still a little bit more rolling in some ways. Oh, right, we're going into Stranger Wolf territory. Well, I suppose that's a fitting mischief for these two to get up to. Oh, there's Ren. I was like, where did she go? <laughs> I thought she disappeared on us for a second there. But yeah, I think it's, they picked some very unique location, picked and I guess in this case, the Lost River designed, uh, but they found some very unique locations for the, uh, the different maps. And I think that's really neat because that, it gives a very different experience in each of the maps that you're in. And I, I just think that's really cool. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we keep like tripping over sandbars here, I think. Man, these cliffs go on for a lot longer than I thought they did. Oh no. It looks like we're coming up on a steeper area here. This is not a, like a full waterfall, right? It's just kind of a steeper slope. I think so. Feels like we're about to go over a waterfall, though. I think we're just going to go down into probably some rapids. <laughs> this might be a little bit... Whoa! Thunderstormy, apparently, as well. That's a little unsettling while we're in the water here. <laughs> Not typically the uh, best time for a swim, but I don't know that wolves would too care too much about that. Uh, as humans, we know that that would probably be a good time to stay out of the water. I hope we can... Oh, yeah, there we go. Canyon Cruise, starting at a confluence, swim downstream in the Yellowstone River below the cliffs with your mate. That's a really neat little a neat little trek. I'm glad that they included it, because it's not necessarily something I would have thought to do on my own. Uh, and it, it's a very worthwhile little little excursion, I think. But I I feel like I feel like Lark and and Ren as well have kind of gravitated toward the back country of the map, up by the hunting zone outside the park borders. Uh, I just feel like that's kind of where they've been hanging out, and so I feel like that's probably where they're going to end up continuing to hang out, uh, even through the winter time and into spring when it, it comes time to raise their pups. So I think we'll have them head back out that way, and maybe start working on establishing a territory as winter deepens. Because it is getting quite late in the year, it is going to be about time for them to start staking out an actual claim on the land. 
And here we are as we've headed further north in the Roaring Mountains. You must carve out your own territory here in the lower slopes of the Roaring Mountain. Later, just before the pups are born, in two months, you must find a good den within your territory. Uh, of course, we are not the only ones expecting pups. The other packs are too. Uh, and we're going to set out here into the deepening winter and see if we can stake out a territory of our own, try to find some more dens. Those are coyotes. For a second, they look like dogs to me. I was like, huh? <laughs> but that's, um, that is not what that is. Uh, but yeah, I headed kind of up in this direction. Oh, we already started claiming that. I guess we may as well go back and mark it then. It can't hurt. Uh, but I think we want to also set up a little bit nearer to our, um... Our, our items over here. I guess we can unmark the camp, but we have our items up there. There actually is a den quite near them, but I don't know if that's the one that we're gonna find, like, or the one that we're actually gonna claim. I want to see what other dens are around in the area. Just spend some time sniffing about because this is our first time in established territory on this map. We don't actually know what a lot of, of the dens are out there, so even though we usually kind of just breeze through established territory, I kind of want to spend some additional time sniffing and see what we end up turning up. Oh, we're also gonna have to sleep. It seems like we've stayed quite tired from our, uh, our little excursion here. So we'll have to rest soon enough, but that's all right. I suspect anyway that we're going to be uh, fighting with Coyote Creek a little bit here. And I think I hear them howling in the distance already. Oh boy, we had to rest the night and it seems like we have some competition. Uh, Coyote Creek has gotten quite busy expanding their territory and we may have some, uh, some interesting clashes here depending on how things go. Uh, the other thing that I did want to mention to you guys as well, some of you guys brought it up in the comments, is we should be checking our known wolves because, yes, uh, I've gone ahead and named her Chickadee, but this is actually Ren's sister, who we've seen following us around a little bit. She seems to want to keep an eye on her little sister. We've seen her pop up a few times, and so far things have been fairly amicable with her, but I thought it would be neat to make sure that we keep tabs on her, uh, which we can now do with known wolves, and hopefully she She'll live out a good story as well, but the wild is full of risks, so there's not really any guarantees of that. We'll have to see what happens, but I think um, right now Lark and Ren are pretty um, on pretty good terms with her. Uh, she hasn't really seemed to be seeking out fights. She's just kind of shown up to uh, scavenge from carcasses that we've brought down and such, and I think they're all right with that. Uh, she's family. They don't mind sharing a little bit of food as long as she doesn't start uh, causing any actual problems about it. But let's see. Oh, boy. All right. I guess we'll put our marker here. I'm a little concerned about Coyote Creek. I didn't expect them to go quite the exact same direction that we were. We might start to uh, start to have some problems with them if we're not careful here, but I suppose we'll have to see. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, establish our own claim and they'll get the message and kind of head down this way instead. But given that they seem to be claiming directly in the area where we want to be and howling right back at us, I have a feeling that there may be some, uh, some potential problems in the future here. Oh, we've got an item here. The canteen. Interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and snag that. Oh my goodness, it's completely buried in the snow. A portable pond. Well, I guess that's a good excuse for us to actually run it right back to our, our cache up here. We've got some territory that can be marked along the way, so... If we kind of start continuing to accumulate some stuff, this is headed into the heart of where we need to mark anyway, so we may as well just go for it. I'm also sniffing around for more dens, but I'm not really finding too many of them. I think some of that might be that we're not on very good uh, south-facing slopes here. Is this? Nah, it's shallow enough to run across. I guess you don't typically drop the items anyway, it's just carcasses and such. The items are typically too small for that, but... Um, uh oh. Wait, no, I do. Oh, okay. Was that the pack leader? That's a very high number. That makes me think I clicked. I've clicked every button except the one I needed to. That was, in fact, the pack leader. I was going to say that's a very high number, which makes her a very, uh, very old wolf. 
compared to us. How, how, um, six years old. Wow. Okay. So yeah, um, that is, uh, that, that's one of the leaders of Coyote Creek. So we've made our acquaintance. Fortunately, Ren chased him off quite readily, but I, I think that's definitely going to be a sign of more, uh, more trouble to come if we're not careful. Uh, we better watch our step. Hopefully he will um, be the only one to give us grief here, but I don't know about that, y'all. Something tells me we haven't seen the last of Coyote Creek. Okay, we've located our item cache. It's actually like right over here. Yeah, oh jeez. The, the freaking coyote every single time just jump scares me. Uh, but I was gonna say, let's go ahead and we'll mark this territory claim it as well. And then continue sniffing around for more things. I kind of, I don't know if I want to keep all the territory, but kind of just zigzagging our way around. I kind of want to like explore though up to the north here and see if we can find anything. Like see if we can find any other items. Some of them sound like they would be found in the hunting territory. I kind of want to try to find that lean-to because uh, we might want to use that as a rendezvous site if we're up here. I feel like that'd be, that'd be fitting for this particular pack. Uh, they've kind of been messing around with the hunting a bit more than I think any of, uh, any of our other packs probably will. Oh, we've got... Is that the... That's probably the den that we've already claimed. Or not already claimed, but already discovered. Uh, let's see if we can claim over this territory before they notice us. I have a feeling we're probably not going to be able to. Oh, we are. Okay. Well, let's reinforce this. These guys are definitely going to give us trouble, though. However, I think that that might be trouble we have to handle on a different day because it is getting to be about time for us to wrap up the episode here for the day. So uh, with that, we'll continue our territory marking in the next episode. And, uh, oops, I guess I already marked that. Uh, for now, we will go ahead and leave this off here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Dre, over and out.